Tuniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Ryan Banifatemi. And now, here are your starting lineups as we get ready for the tip-off just moments away. And guys, we should be in for a fun one here with this meeting between two premier offenses. I'll tell you who it's not going to be fun for, the defenses. I mean, they're going to have their hands full trying to deal with all this firepower. It's going to be interesting to see which side can provide the most resistance defensively. Even the smallest impact on that end can sway this game. Well, with the developed understanding of the game, Jones uses timing and body control to inhale rebounds. Now here's Collier. And that one's good fouls. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Pass to Jones. Here's Heidemann. She's covered by Jefferson. Sinks the three-pointer. Teamwork three is important to Jones. She has excellent chemistry with her teammates and just does what's best for everyone. Now here's Jefferson. And here's Kayla McBride from the arc. And Bonner pulls it down. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Pass to Williams. Shoots the three. And the sun hit again from deep. It used to be a weakness of her game, but Williams has worked on three-point shooting and her percentages have increased each year in the league. Now here's Fowles. Collier outside. And here's Jefferson. Shot clock at six. And yep, it's good. Here's Powers. McBride puts up a three, gets it to go from downtown. For the Sun in 2019, they got so close to their first championship. Yeah, Blake, I mean, they lost to Washington in the finals. That series going the full five games. Still, that 2019 team has a special place in the heart of Connecticut fans. And players like John Quill Jones, Courtney Williams, Alyssa Thomas, just a talented group that they still love. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Here's Heidemann. Jones outside. Pass to Heidemann. Fires the three. Out of bounds. It'll be Lynx Ball. Minnesota Lynx Ball. Here's Allen. Powers. Allen. Clock at six. Pass to McBride. Three pointer. Minnesota the rebound. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Carlton. The layup off target. Just stay closer. I mean, really, that's all the defender had to do there. Courtney Williams for three. And that's collected by Kayla McBride. Pass to Allen. The three is up. And Jones pulls it down. Here's Heidemann. She's covered by Allen. That one goes. John Count it. Jones. The combination of 6'6 six, six size and touch with Jonquil Jones. It's special, it's almost one of a kind, and you'd like to see your score inside even more. Now here's Powers. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Here's McBride. And it's gonna be two free throws, drew contact on the shot. Second personal. That's on Jones. Second Kayla McBride is someone you can count on. She was a starter the moment she got into the league back in 2015 and she pretty much always averages double figures. The Sun making a switch here. She hits the second from the line. A unanimous selection to the WNBA all-rookie team. McBride made an immediate impact in this league. Six-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Good. 
looks like they're going to have one of those days where they can do no wrong. Well, they certainly haven't done anything wrong so far, stretching the lead into double digits already. Such a hot start. McBride outside. Lays it up and banks it in. Excelling at relentless drives to the rim. It's McBride's aggressiveness that is really That's always the in demand in the coach. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Sun ahead. They're up by eight. Hold tight. We've got more basketball action headed. And now the second quarter just getting set to begin. And guys, what's your take on the Sun so far? The work they've done to get in close offensively the difference right now. And I like that they aren't settling for outside shots. Just keep attacking the rim. Very aggressive. Pass to Collier. Shepard. The screen by Collier. Here's Jefferson. The 17-footer goes down. Well, you got to give it to Shepard. She keeps her eyes up and her options open. To the wing on the left. Here's Plowden. She's covered by Jefferson. Joanna Bonner for three. That shot off. The Lynx go the other way with it. Here's Jefferson. Pass to Fowles. Now Powers. Here's Collier. Bonner defending. Collier can't get it to go. The Sun leading. Quarter number two with just over a minute to play. Loudon, she's covered by Jefferson. Joanna Bonner for three. And the three ball Joanna is good. Bonner. I like the assertive approach there. Bonner wasting no time shooting off the pass. Call your left side. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Here's Cloudin. <laughs> And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, officials saw the contact and she'll shoot two. Well, probably the right play defensively. She gets the block, send him to the line. Exactly. You want to prevent the layup, give him a little knock, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming down the lane the next time around. It does send a message. Pass to Collier. That shot off. That's some solid defense from John Quell Jones. Here's Plowden. She's covered by Jefferson. Jacks up a three. Plowden misses. The Lynx trailing. Jefferson left side. The screen by Collier. It's Jessica Shepard on the wing. Pass to Collier. Dewana Bonner with the rebound. And here the Sun. They've only given up two points this quarter. Here's Thomas. Money from the wing. Keeping each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on her three-point attempt. Pass to Jones. Carrington up top. Thomas. Now Heidemann. She's covered by Allen. Shot clock at five. Here's Jones. Offensive rebound. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. Yeah, just a force on the glass, mainly because of a good combination of strength and stamina. And it's easy to tell that Thomas simply does not take plays off. Here's McBride again in Minnesota. They did just what they needed to do and got a great look out of it. Pass to Heidemann. Jones on the wing, Dijon A. Carrington. Now Heidemann. The three ball. That one's off. She's made five and missed three now. They ride outside. Collier up top. 
tucked in off the glass. You know, she has the ability to run both sides of the pick and roll. Collier, a dynamic offensive player, a ball handler and finisher. Pass to McBride. Collier, guarded by Jones. And it's Collier missing. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. And so we wrap up the first half. Sun ahead, leading by 14. And time now for the halftime break. 20 points for her. Fires for three. And the Sun get it back. Jones, covered by fouls. Just five on the clock. Courtney Williams for three. Connects Courtney from three-point range. Look how three. quick she was to bite on that pump fake. Left her feet way too soon. Minnesota calls a timeout. Well, coaching in this league, not easy by a long shot. What's the biggest challenge for head coaches? Well, for me, there's only 12 teams in the entire league, so you see the same clubs quite a bit. Coming up with different wrinkles to game plan, and that's so tough to do. Everybody knows everybody in this league. Yeah, and for me, it's the roster size. You only have 12, sometimes 11 players at your disposal. So you have to be smart with rest. You have to be smart with minutes. And you don't really want to overextend your stars. Outside powers. Pass to Carlton. It's stolen by Carrington. Dewana Bonner on the wing. Powers covering. Bonner right side. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. It's not an automatic, Jay, but it's effective. Bonner's worked on her jumper. It's allowed her to increase her scoring average over the years. Now here's Powers, covered by Carrington. Uh, Chanwa the screen, pass to Carlton. Down to five on the shot clock. No problems knocking that one down. The efficiency of Powers passing is great. Delivers the ball straight to a wide open shooter. Here's Cloudon. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Barrington, here's Plowden. She's covered by Allen. And another three for Connecticut. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. Pass to Achanwa. Outside power. Down low. Here's Carlton. That one, no good. And Connecticut will go the other way with it. Plowden, Powers covering. And here's Plowden. The three. That's good. And it's Dewana Bonner with the assist. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. Well, it's really hard to pick the best Lynx team in their franchise history, but I think I have to say 2017. They led the league in offensive and defensive rating. They went 27 and seven, and oh yeah, by the way, they won a title. Jones left side. To the paint. And the basket by Clouded. Fantastic pass. She made that a very easy bucket with the setup. Pass to Carlton. Now here's Powers. Bangs home the trifecta. With the level of shooter the Powers is, letting her catch and fire, it's not a recipe for success for the defense. Here's Clouden. And she uses the glass on the layup. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clock. Back to Powers. Let's the three fly. And Jones pulls it down. 
And so here is Connecticut. Inside. And the basket by Cloudin. Solid work right there. There's a big difference in field goal percentages of these teams in the second half. And that difference has come about because we've got one team moving sharply, getting good shots, and the other just a little bit stagnant. It's tough to watch. Yeah, one coach That's did his job at halftime. The other, not so much. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. A son on top, just dominating this one. And she didn't hesitate to take it right up against a much bigger defender. And you gotta like that fearless, aggressive attitude. I just love it, Brian. Up top, Achanwa. Achanwa the screen. Jefferson, right side. Three-pointer. That one is good again. She is six for eight from the floor with that basket. This is what being a great teammate is all about. Achanwa understands when the defense has overcommitted. Yep, Join that one goes. Assist An example of some Leticia fine Heidel. interior passing before that basket. Jefferson outside, pass to Fowles. Score the basket, it's number six for her this game. Six for nine, and that's 67% shooting. Now Holmes, defended by Achanwa. Now here's Williams, Juana Bonner on the wing. Now Heidemann, Jones right side. Outside Williams. There's the three. And it's rebounded by Sylvia Fowles. And now the Lynx fast break. Right outside. Jefferson outside. And she wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. With strong court vision and awareness, McBride is able to read defenses and find the open teammate. Pass to Heidemann. Jones outside. Bonner with it. And here's Heidemann. She's covered by Jefferson. And here's Williams. Here's Heidemann. No good on the triple. Now here's Jefferson. Aerial Powers on the wing. Here's Fowles. Guarded by Jones. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. And she almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. A big group substitution here for Connecticut. Here's Plowden. Pass to Sims. Cloudin, she's covered by Jefferson. And the basket by Cloudin. Well, what you're seeing right now is Sims' playmaking ability on full display. She sees things that other players don't. Here's Jefferson. A rebound by Holmes. Wow, I thought that was absolutely automatic. Here's Plowden. She's covered by Jefferson. Inside. And the basket by Plowden. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They've got to keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Now here's Allen. She's covered by Sims. Back to Jefferson. There's a screen by McBride. Jefferson, no good. And here's Cloudin. This one for three. And the Sun hit again from deep. So we see the Sun taking the W here. And this crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Boy, I mean, for us too, it was shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. Never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the type of win they had tonight. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.